In this workbook, I've added a pivot table. I'm going to put some fields in there and then clean up a couple of the problems that I see with headings and labels. The pivot table right now is blank and I'll put region. When I check that, it goes into the row labels. I'll add store below the region name and then click quantity and total price and those get added as values. The headings are automatically created with the summary function name included. So sum of quantity and sum of total price. I don't want it to say sum of, I just want it to show the field name. If I click on this cell and just try and type QTY, I get an error message that tells me that field name already exists. So I'll click OK and press escape to get out. And if I can go and look at the sales data, you can see the headings, there's quantity, and it won't let me use a name in the pivot table that's already used in the source data. So to get around that, instead of trying to make it exactly the same, I just change the name so that there's a space either at the end or at the beginning of the name. So I could type QTY space and press enter. It looks just like quantity. You can't tell there's a space and that would work. Or we could do the same thing at the beginning of the name. I'm going to undo that. If you've got several names that you want to change, you can do a find and replace. So I'm going to change both of these at the same time. On the home tab, I'll go to find and select replace. And in here, I'm going to replace sum of space and tab, and I'll just put a space. So when it finds the characters sum of and a space character, it will just put in a space character. I'll click replace all and it's completed the search. It replaced two items. When I click close, it's changed all the headings. So if you have 10 or 20, that can be a real time saver. The other issue here is that we've got some blanks in the data where there should be region names or city names. I don't want it to say blank. I just want it to show a blank. If I try and delete that, I get an error message that says it can't change this part of the pivot table. What I can do though is type a space character there, press enter, and now it looks blank, but there's a space. And the same thing for city. I'll just type a space character, press enter, and now we've got blanks instead of the word blank. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.